What is going on YouTube? Today is the ninth attempt at the $700 in one day challenge. It's 7.18 a.m. I got off to a much later start than usual. And because of that, I was considering maybe not attempting it today. Especially after getting off to just an okay start. We got $14 for 7 double order next. But a $7 extra tip on this double order made me think, okay, maybe I should do this. And the next order I got made me think, yeah, we're going for it. And let's go! A massive $29 triple order. Three orders from this restaurant. That's pretty rare for 9 a.m. We're officially in the game. Now, it's time to move. We take this $11 for eight necks. Not the best looking on paper, but I accepted it to see what kind of items it was. It is a bunch of items, and it's dropping off to an expensive mountain area. 97 cent extra tip, not the extra tip I wanted, but I'm back at the same McDonald's with the $8 for six, bringing me closer to where I want to be. Another fast food order, but this one's gonna work for now. $9 for five from Burger King. BK, have it your way. Currently, you're at $106 and three and a half hours for an hourly rate of $30.53 an hour, but that's not good enough. If we're gonna hit $700, we're gonna need some powerhouse dinner time orders later in order to push this over. Had to wait for a $10 for six Taco Bell. Right now it's daytime, so we just gotta keep moving. I'm only made $20 in this last hour, but this $11 for four mile Chick-fil-A is gonna put us right back on track. $20 in 24 minutes, a key piece to keeping us in the game. I haven't done a single order on any app that's not Uber Eats. No DoorDash, Instacart, Walmart, Spark. But that's gonna help us out. 14 for seven from Pizza Hut. All right, Grandma, time to move. It's pizza time. Pizza Hut is always coming in clutch. I would like DoorDash to keep sending me orders, but it's sending me nothing but trash. So we got just $9 for three. We're gonna run out of Uber Eats early again, but the good news is it's Saturday instead of Sunday, so we might stand a chance late night. Saturdays are way better at late night. A long wait on that one. Can't afford that today, especially for only a $9 order. That order took a half an hour to complete. Not good at all. We got a $7 for two Cheesecake Factory next. Good to put Uber Eats on the bench for a little bit. It's pretty decent. There we go, $5 extra. We need every dollar that we can get, and we're coming up on 200 now. It's 2 o'clock now, and I'm not getting anything. And DoorDash is great, so it looks like I have no choice but to turn to Uber Eats again. A $10 for three right here, sushi. We're definitely going to take that. I'm going to drop this one off to a Porsche dealership. The last hour or two has been very slow. I got my next one right now. It's a Walgreens DoorDash, which is good. I can take a break from Uber Eats. Luckily, no wait at the counter, so this should be worth it. Says that was a brutal wait for my next order. Luckily, we got Subway Eat Fresh next. Man, where did you get your driver's license from? Who taught you how to drive? Mrs. Puff from Bikini Bottom Boating School? We're just barely hugging around the $25 an hour mark. This dinner rush is gonna make or break whether we have a chance at 700 today. Walmart Spark actually doing something for once. $31, 21 items, two miles. And after that, we are hitting the dinner rush. Guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, hit that subscribe button and help us get to 50,000 subscribers. We are almost there, kind of almost there, if you know what I mean. Let's get it. We just got our first order of the dinner rush. Not gonna lie, we're falling a little behind, and I didn't sleep the best, so I'm kind of kind of out of it right now. But that doesn't matter. It's time to buckle up, buckle in, and give it 100%. We got a $23 for 14 double, high mileage, but look how many items this one has. That's a guaranteed extra tip. We're delivering Squidward. This second bag is pretty fat too. $44 in 47 minutes. That's what I meant. That's what I meant when I said I needed some huge orders at the dinner time, and it happened. Quick and easy, $10 for three. Nothing crazy, but it's worthy. It's worthy. I ate here the other day, and it was delicious. 
mouth-watering good. And that puts us at $333, almost halfway there. $728 right now. It's crucial that we cherry-pick a couple more big dinnertime orders. We gotta turn down some decent ones I usually take and hope for something better. And Instacart is actually gonna join the party. This one's only a couple of miles and it's dropping off to a house, so it should take less than 20 minutes. But we're frantically looking for this, I don't know what this is, oral solution magnesium citrate? I had to call the customer and they told me where it was in the aisle. That took way too long for four items. $12 for 10 miles. Nothing amazing on paper, but the reason why I kept this order is because of how many items it is. Look at all this. A5 Wagyu steak, crispy rice, spicy, spicy tuna, fresh wasabi, blue fish, $372 subtotal. The drop off is less than preferable, so I need an extra tip on this or else it's not gonna be worth it. This could be it, guys. If I hit $700 today, it might be because of this order. A disappointment! A disappointment! Only a $12 extra tip! We did get it done in 30 minutes, so that's not bad, but I was really wanting this one to be $30, $40. I drove more to the right, and now I'm in an area where it's not as expensive, but it is more populated, and that works for now an $11 for seven from a Chinese restaurant that came in with a $5 extra tip for a clutch $16 in 21 minutes. We needed that. Now I only have two hours of Uber Eats left, but at the same time, I can't turn the good ones down that are coming to me. We got a $16 Wendy's next. With this being fast food, I'm kind of worried that it's one of those orders that's already been picked up. But if it's real, then it's definitely the one that I need. I'm trying to get back to that area anyways. There's the Wendy's right there. Please have this order, man. I, I just got an Uber Eats pickup for Nick. Why not just hand it to me through cool window, man? These people are NPCs. We got it. It's all drinks. I get this $16 for 10 double. Easy driving. It brought me back to the area I usually deliver in. But I should have just stayed in the area I was in. Because it seemed like it was better for the late night hours. Evident by the fact that I'm getting nothing once I got over here. Is it coyote? I needed to drive somewhere else because I'm surrounded by a bunch of closed restaurants. But then I get this one $10 for four mile clutch White Castle order. But the lobby is closed. It's closed. And the drive through line is insane. I had no choice but to unassign it. I'm in a really bad situation now. So I take a $9 for nine mile just trying to get out of the area I'm in. But this one is closed too. What is going on? Divine intervention against reaching 700. Things are not going well, guys. We have not completed an order in quite some time. But we gotta keep pushing on and hope for a miracle. I camped outside of a pizza hut and got a 750 for three that came in with a $2 extra tip and then a $7 subway. Climbing, clawing our way to the fabled, legendary, unattained 700. $6.50 closer now, but it's sinking in like the Titanic that we're running out of time. We're pushing on. We're pushing on. Coming up on 1 a.m. now. We got our next order from Taco Bell. A multi-app stack going in the same direction. And at this point, we're coming up on 18 hours in. But I don't know if I would have taken this order if I would have known that it was dropping off to the longest hallway in all of the entirety of the United States of America. Bro, that has to be a joke. That has to be a joke. Last order put us at $489, 18 hours in. Unfortunately, in order to stand a chance at reaching 700, you have to be at like $600, 18 hours in. During my best run, I was at $619, 18 hours in, and I still didn't make it. Sadly, with it even slowing down right now, it looked like there was no way I was gonna hit 700. It ended up being my last order. Attempt number nine, ending in a failure. As you guys can see, we did not make it. We did very similar to my last attempt. But yeah, nah, I have some good orders today, but if I'm gonna hit 700, I'm gonna need some extra firepower, some catering apps. So we did just that. Action was taken in place. I am Thanos, scouring the galaxy for more delivery apps. So I searched the app store and immediately got approved for a new app, a catering app, the newest addition to my collection, Delivered Driver.
My next move was recovering and dusting off a lost app that I haven't used in a year, Shipped. I ordered a new card and got it back in the lineup. 